In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, are you ready for a great shopping adventure? With a spring open house just a few days away, I knew to ensure that we had enough stuff, we needed to go thrifting. Debbie and I hit store after store until that van was completely packed to the ceiling. And just when I thought I was done for the day, Jenny called and said the lady from the UK was here. That's right, you guys. Someone from the UK was coming to my spring open house and she was already here. So needless to say, I hopped in the car to meet her and Jenny and I took her thrifting. I think you might need it. I might need this. I've already <laughs> got two at home. Oh, I you might do? Need Mine a bit, a bit bigger. I might need this small one. The little one? Yeah. yeah. You guys, she was an absolute delight and we even took her to the Cracker Barrel, somewhere she's never been. So you guys, if you are ready for some serious shopping today, let's go ahead and pile in Debbie's van and get started. Also, I want to show you how the day of the spring open house went. So if you stick around, you'll get a chance to see all that and also the winners of the raffles from the spring open house. So our spring open house was literally three days away. And although we had a lot of stuff, I still wanted to have even more stuff because I knew people would be traveling from long distances. And like I said in the introduction, we even had a lady coming all the way from the UK. So I really wanted to make this worthwhile for everybody. So I called Debbie up and said, you know what? We need to go thrifting. So our first stop was the community thrift store in Clinton Township. And this is where I came across this happy hour sign, which I thought would be great for a man cave. And at $2.99, we're going to put it in the basket. Here's another great sign that I really like. Wow, look at that, you guys. $2.99. We're going to have to get it. Now, I like this one, too. However, I'm just kind of on the fence about it. I'm not sure if it would be a good seller or not. So we're just going to think about it. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look how stinking cute. Somebody needs a treat. Oh, we've got to get this. Remember what I told you about corbels? Even though these are for draperies, I still am gonna get these. They're super large, they're very ornate, and they're priced right. I'm loving this with, I don't know, is it an acorn or an artichoke? Whatever it is, I'm getting it. I mean, it's only 99 cents and it has a great look. Now this candle looks like it's brand new. I love the cement look to it. I even like the gold. I probably would change out the ribbon though. This candle in a jar really has like this down home look to it. However, at $5.99, I really don't think I'm gonna make much. So for that reason, we're gonna put it back. Remember when I told you, when you find like the neutral kind of candles, pick them up, especially this one. It's a big chunky one and you can use it with a big chunky candlestick. These ones that are unused and this large are hard to come across. Oh, these are cute, but you know what? I wanna take a look at this llama back here. Oh. Loving him. Yeah, I'm gonna get him for 99 cents. Whoa, 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 look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get this, but I am gonna paint it like cement. It's definitely worth $8 all day long. These are really nice amber looking bottles. You could put that with some soap, put your own label on there. This is cute and it's only 99 cents. We could paint it, we could put a little wreath on it. It'd be perfect. Now I like this, but I'm not a big copper fan. So I'm kind of on the fence with this one too, but it's only $3.99. So I don't know. Should I get it? Should I not? I don't know. Now, when I got up to the front, I saw Debbie. I'm like, hey, Debbie, should I get this? And she was like, oh, I don't really like it. So this is one of the items that I did put back, but it really was priced really good at $3.99. Look at these, you guys. They're so cool. They're like long and tall. But I wasn't sure, is this $12.99 for two of them or is it each? So when I got up to the front, I asked and it's $12.99 for both. That's not bad, that's only $6.50 each. Now I know I'm shopping for my spring event, but this one here, I couldn't pass up. It's so cool for Christmas. Okay, here's some bunnies. Does this have sparkles on it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not liking any of these bunnies and I'm shopping for spring. Yeah, no, I don't like any of them. Oh well, let's just move on. 
Okay, here's some other things I don't need, but gosh, I love these trees. I've got to get them. Yeah, they're $2.99 and they're really tall, so I'm going to get them. This is kind of cool for $2.99. I think we're going to need to get this. Wow, look at this basket. It's so pretty and it's only $2.99. Yeah, this is definitely a keeper. I have no idea where Debbie is, but I'm just like power shopping here. Their prices are so good here. I mean, $1.99 for this, that is such a great price. The only thing is, with this place, you have to bring cash. They only take cash, no charges. Here's another great one for $2.99. Just add some flowers in there. It would just be really pretty. I'm really loving the look of this basket. I like the wire, the wood. It has a nice look to it. It looks like we might need to get this one too. What the heck is this? This is so weird looking. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, these are so pretty for spring. Look at these. Yellow check napkins. We can tuck that into baskets. We could even sell it as a set. I'm going to get these. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I have to have these. These actually could be spring or fall. Yep, yep, I'm getting both of these. This looks like spring too. I just want to have a lot of spring-like colors in the shop when people come. Just like this, look at this. This is like sunshine yellow. It's a tablecloth. Oh, and it's only $3.99, so I'm gonna get this as well. I still don't know where Debbie is. Either she's looking at clothes or shoes, gadgets, I don't know. This is definitely a vintage tablecloth because it's really stiff. Love the color, but the texture is just awful. Hey, I think my mom picked up some of these last week. The tablecloths with the red checks. Oh, this is really pretty for fall. Whoa, $24.99. I almost had a heart attack. We will not be getting this. I'm really liking this blanket because it not only has like gray, but it also has pink, which looks like spring. So yeah, I think I'm going to end up getting this blanket here. I know it's coming across a little peachy, but it really is pink. Here's that classic black and white throw that I always tell you guys to pick up. I can always sell these. These are such good sellers. Oh my gosh, do you see my cart, you guys? I'm definitely a girl on a mission today. I keep telling myself I don't need these, but they're so cool. All right, I'm just gonna have to step away because these are $12.99 and I'm looking for spring stuff. This shade is really cool. But is it a little too bright? I don't know. All right, and it is $7.99, so you know what? I'm not certain about this, so I think I might pass on this. And it's not like I don't have a whole cart full already. Wow, this is gorgeous. For winter, oh my gosh, but $24.99, it's not something that I can do today. But I love the look and the feel of it. Now this is a nice springy kind of color. However, the texture, it just does not feel like a quality pillow. It's stiff and it's rough. That's why we're not gonna get it. This one's really cool and I think this one would be a great seller. It's so pretty to add to your throw pillows on your couch. When I got to the front where I found Debbie finally, she's like, oh my gosh, I looked at this pillow. I could see this being something that she would like. She was waiting on a price for a rug. So as we waited there, I ended up finding this too. I thought this was really cool. I wasn't entirely sure what you could use it for, whether you're gonna use it for eggs or soap or I don't know, but it was by Mud Pie, so I bought it because it was only $4.99. I definitely got a lot of stuff at this store and Debbie only ended up buying that rug, but it was a beautiful rug. And she even suggested that we take photos from each store that we go to of the back of the van. 
So here's a photo of Debbie's fan from the first store we went to. And as you can see, there's that beautiful rug she bought. It's like yarn tied and she's going to put it in her bedroom. I think it's going to be gorgeous. All right, you guys, let's head to another store. All right, so this is Value World. I've never been here. Debbie has. So let's check it out. If you remember, last week we went to a Value World. I never even knew these existed. I mean, who knew? So here we are at another Value World, and this one is in Clinton Township. Let's go check it out. The first thing I came across was this green pillow, and it was only $3.20. I mean, how can you beat that? I thought it would really complement those other pillows I bought, so that's why I put it in the basket. That's kind of cool for $2.92. And just as I was ready to put it in my basket, I realized there was a chip in it. I really thought this was pretty, but look at that chip. Yep, nobody wants to buy something that has a chip like this. Plus, you're not going to match this color and the texture, so it's just better to leave it on the shelf. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I think he's precious. Yeah, I like him. Oh, and we even get a complimentary Q-tip gross but at 292 i guess we'll take him and the q-tip seriously yuck a doodle <laughs> but i am getting him i tried to tip this thing upside down so that the q-tip would fall out but nope it's wedged in there and it's not going anywhere oh, i like this oh deb i didn't even see that yeah, it's so cute oh so simple you know, i like simple Get i love it too. yep i i looked at those Really, you guys, these prices are fabulous, though. I'm going to get this for $2.92. Oh, my gosh. Jenny would love this. It's right up her alley. Doesn't that sound like something she would say? These are kind of cool, but they are plastic. I don't know. How much are they? $3.93? I don't know. I'm just going to think on this, I guess. Now this is really pretty. I like this too. Is that more of them? I think it is. This is super cute. And you know what? It's really springy, but I'm not seeing a price on it. Well, it can't be much, so I'm gonna put it in the basket. Well, here's another home pillow. You know what though? I don't like this one as much as the other one. And this one, it just isn't springy enough and I see some of the yarn coming off on the side. All right, we need to pass on this one too. I think this basket is worth $8.98 all day long. It's chunky, it has a nice look to it and I'm definitely gonna get it. Debbie really didn't find anything there other than some clothes. And I was feeling really bad because here I was filling up her van. But like I said, I was girl literally on a mission because I had two days before my open house. And I wanted to make sure that we had more than enough stuff for everyone that was coming. And I even offered Debbie anything she wanted out of my stuff she could take. And with that being said, we were off to another thrift store. Our next stop was the Salvation Army in Clinton Township. It reminds me of my mom. She would have this in her garden. How much is that time? I can't read it. <laughs> My eyes don't read it. $35, $36. Yeah. Now, although this was quite expensive, I knew that I could probably sell this for $65. So for that reason, I put it in the basket. Right. Will you look at this, you guys? Okay, so it is a tray with a mirror in it and there is two of them. One on the top shelf, one on the bottom. I'm gonna to try to get a better look at this with hopefully not breaking anything in the process. Okay, it's $7.99. I think I'm gonna get it because I can probably sell it for $18. $11. Oh, wow, I no, love that. I want it. Two in the store or the rugs? Oh, definitely. I love it. Let's get it. So we have some rolled up rugs in the store for sale and we never have a big enough basket. They're always flopping over. So this would be perfect. Yeah, 
that's cute, Dom. I like these that say blessed on them. Yeah, I like I'm that very too. Very blessed. That's nice. It's only three ninety nine. Yeah. But I got so much for that. That's Don't true. You, you remember going in that room in my basement? I do. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at Debbie went through her stash, and she's giving me all this. Debbie had so much gorgeous stuff that she had went through and was giving to me, including this. Debbie, why are you getting rid of that? Because I don't want it. So yes, I do remember all the stuff in her basement. I know, you gave me so much. I could buy everything, I love it. <laughs> I know, I get it. If you guys have seen Debbie's house, you know how gorgeous it's decorated for every holiday. It makes you just want to move in there. She has such a great eye. This is some cute yeah. fall. The more I think about how cute her house is decorated, I'm thinking maybe I need this sign. Wow, that's brand new, huh? What is it? Oh, it's price. Oh, it's four nine. Is it just my eyes, or can you? No, they're very light. Very, very light. light. I like that big indoor family too for Christmas. Oh my gosh! Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is only three ninety nine, Deb. You want it? Do you want it? No. This is only $4. Look how cool it is. All right. I don't know. I need to stop looking at this holiday stuff. I really need spring stuff. Let's keep going. Although horses are really big and dried in, this just doesn't have the right look. Oh, $2.99, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't need it, Dove. I don't. I, I need to look for spring. <laughs> like, this is kind of cool right here. $7. How much? $7, well, though. $11. Cute stuff. Wow, if I was looking for fall or Christmas, I'd be all set, wouldn't I? Now she just literally put this out and I'm grabbing it because it is spring looking. If I can get it in my basket without breaking it. It's $7.99 and I love it. As we're walking here, I have another lady from the Salvation Army trying to peek in my basket and I have no idea why. Now she's trying to act nonchalant about it, but she's walking on the side of me. Like I literally have to pull the basket over. So I let her pass me, and it's not until I get to the next aisle that I can hear her talking to another associate saying, how much was that face? You have to watch what price you put on there, thinking that maybe she marked it too low. Then I could hear her talking about the value of items and vintage items. It was just really weird. Like, I felt really uncomfortable. But I'm still going to get the vase. This is cute for $3.99. I like this one too, but boy, it looks like it's $9.99 or $8.99. I don't think it's priced right. No, this one's in rough shape. We're going to put this one back. Here's a few more of those cement ones. Oh my gosh, I've been seeing these turkey pictures all over. We saw it's vintage farmhouse. And if you remember, I picked one up for $3 with the bowl at a garage sale. And it's not a good seller. I'm just letting you know. So we're definitely not going to get this one, but I am interested in this white pitcher over here. For $3.99, let's put it in the basket. As I told you guys before, these classic white pitchers sell really quick. What do you see there, Deb? Lemons from last thing. <laughs> Deb, look at this bowl. Isn't that gorgeous? Little did I know, if you flip it over on the back, it's Nate Burkus. I've never seen one of those before. So we're definitely going to get this for $4.99. This is kind of cool, but it is $9.99, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the basket. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I did end up putting it in the basket. However, when I got to the checkout, I decided against getting it. So that's one I left behind. Look how precious. 
Oh, and $2.99, I'm gonna get it. Now I like this with the natural wood, but it was $11.95, so that was a pass for me. Oh, you know how I love houses, you guys. This one is only $1.99, so I'm gonna get it. This is cute with a little bird on top. I am gonna get rid of the pink bowl, though. Here's another one. We're gonna grab that one, too. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. That was so pretty. I've never seen anything like that. Neither. How much is it? $7.99. I think it's worth it, Deb. I think it is. You might wanna get it. I'm thinking. <laughs> This clock is really cool. I think I really have a thing for clocks. I pick them up all the time, don't I? Oh my gosh, they must have just put this out because I didn't see this. And you know, in Dryden, where my store is, people love horses. Yeah, this one has a really good look and it would look great on an entryway table. Well, you guys, I think we've done pretty good here. I love everything that I found and I hope that the people at the Spring Open House will love it too. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and check out. Here's a picture of Debbie's van on our third trip to a thrift store. It's getting pretty packed, but Debbie wants to take me to another Salvation Army in St. Clair Shores. It's one that she used to shop at a lot. This is St. Clair Shores 13 in Harper. All right, Deb used to come here, so she said that it's a pretty good one. We'll see what's in here. Well, it used to be. All right, so let's go check this out and see. Okay, it says what? My dog winks at me sometimes and I always wink back in case it's some kind of coat. <laughs> it's cute. What's that, Dom? Like a trash can? It's a um, jello. Oh, mold. jello. Mold. Mm -hmm. You know cool. who would be getting that if she was here? Yes, I do. I've met that woman before. Yeah, I think you have. Dora. Oh, see, she would get that too. Mm -hmm. She would like that. Although I know my mom would like this and she probably would end up getting it, I'm always torn about whether I should buy something for her or not buy it when she's not there because, you know, it's really the thrill of the hunt. That's why we love going shopping. It's like, you know, treasure hunting. It's, you know, you come across it and you're like, oh my gosh, look what I found. So it really has to be something like wow, wow. Or like something super cheap, like if she doesn't want it, who cares? Isn't that cute? Is it? It's free. No free, huh? <laughs> so cute, right? Cute. Although Deb can't find a price for it, I'm gonna bring it up front because I really like it. Oh, look at these. These are kind of cool too. Oh, wait a minute. Look at it's missing the whole center. Back on the shelf you go. This is cute. It's clean. It's classic. I kind of really like it. I really like this one too. This one, however, has the perfect spring look. I love the leaf pattern, so it's going in the basket. The coloring of the distressing is just off. What is this over here? Oh, it's so sparkly. I love it. It's a little candle holder. When Debbie saw it, she had to have it. Oh. My tambourine is cooler than your tambourine. My tambourine is cooler. <laughs> oh yeah, Debbie. If you remember last week, we picked up a tambourine. Want to dance? Is that what you said? Yep, let's <laughs> dance. Oh my gosh, a tambourine. Needless to say, we bought it. I mean, how many times do you come across a tambourine? Well, I guess twice. I think this hourglass is really cool, but I don't know if it would be a good seller. Doesn't it remind you of days of our lives? Like sands through an hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Yeah, it's cool, but it is $9.99, and I'm not sure if it's going to be a good seller, so I think I'm going to pass on this one. Yeah, that, that was cute. $4 I mean, it's for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. If it's for you... Yeah. Come on, come on. This is a cool lantern. I like this. Yeah, I like this, and it's priced right. 
Now this is right up my alley. I love the pot. I love the greenery. I'm gonna get this. Ooh, I love the color of this. It's nice and bright. We could drape it over a ladder. We could put it over a chair. I like it. Maybe even on a mannequin. Is this an air fryer? You know what? I actually got one for Christmas and I love it. I cannot believe how fast it cooks your food. With the oven, you have to wait for it to preheat. You know, it just takes so long. This literally, your food's done in five or six minutes. It's crazy. I don't even know how it works like that. So my husband's like, you know what? We should get one for the cottage. This one looks like it's $39.99. So I'm going to hold off because I saw some on Marketplace that I like a little better. Oh my gosh, look at this little cutie patootie. He's cute in a spring blue and he's only $9.99, so I think I'm gonna have to get him. Darn, there's always a chip and I thought he was so cute. I know I'm desperate for spring flowers, but this is very dusty and the basket's broken and it just has this really worn out look to it. I like this one, I might need to get this one. This is $4.99, but I still can make money on it. And on that note, Debbie and I are getting ready to check out. She has this beautiful quilt that I forgot to take a picture of, but you will see it in the van. Can we fill up a van or what? Do you see the beautiful comforter that Debbie picked up? It's striped. I love it. I wonder if it's hearth and hand. She even got the matching pillow shams too with them. Yeah, we really got some good stuff. I'm really happy with that. So you would think after all this, we would be done thrifting, but no, we are diehards and we're going to hit one more store. So the last store we're going to go to is the Salvation Army in New Baltimore. That is so cute. We've been in the door two seconds. Look at what we found. I know, two seconds already. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now we get a cart. Yeah, we can definitely get a cart. Oh, wow. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that adorable? That is super cute. How much is it? I don't see a price. Oh, wait, here it is. $12.99. Oh, yeah, that's a cute bread box. You know, bread boxes really go. Where did that bee come from? It just came out of my... I'm gonna get the spoon if it's not too much. Seven bucks. I think I'll get it. What is that? Oh, that's pretty. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Sit on the coffee table? Yeah. You guys don't even have to ask. You know I put this in the basket. How stinking cute. I'm practically running to this chicken tray. Oh my gosh. I love that. Oh my gosh, I have to get this. This is kind of cool. I might need this guy up here. I really like him. Don't know if I have the time to paint him white, but I might just leave him like that. And if he sells, he sells. If not, maybe I will paint him white. Definitely gonna get him though. This is an interesting cutting board. Oh, I really like this. I love the finish of it. Yeah, I might have to get this. This is like the third angel we've come across today. Now the star really caught my eye. However, it doesn't scream spring at all. And it is $12.99, so I think I'm just gonna leave it here. But I do like it. Hello, sunshine. Look at this yellow blanket. I love it. My grandma had these kind of blankets and I really love these. Oh, look at the colors in this blanket. Oh my gosh, this one is good too. 
All right, I think I might need to get both of these because they're gorgeous and you don't come across great colors like this for fall. Not in blankets, anyhow. All right, I am happy with what we picked out so far. It's some good stuff. Oh, this guy just caught my eye. We have to take a look at him. $25.99, you guys. That is way too much. Never, never, never am I going to pay that. This pumpkin box is also very cool, but again, I'm supposed to be looking for spring, so I'm going to pass on this one. All right, you guys, this is really being crazy, yeah? Yes, yes it is, but you know what? We have found some awesome stuff today, and now I feel very confident that we're going to have more than enough stuff when everyone arrives for the spring open house. Well, here's the last picture of the van, and I think we did pretty darn good today. Debbie's going to head home, and I'm going to go have dinner with my husband. So we are going to call it a night. At least, that's what I thought. So no sooner do I get home, I get a call from Jenny saying, the lady from the UK is here. And I'm like, what? So what happened was, earlier that week, I had gotten a call at the store. And when I picked it up, there was a lady, and she said, Hello, my name's Kathy, and I'm from the UK. And I plan on going to your spring open house. And I was like, oh my gosh, all the way from the UK? And she was like, well, I have some friends in Wisconsin, and I have decided to extend my stay, and I will be coming to your spring open house. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited, but I didn't know she was going to be here on Thursday. So here was Jenny calling me, letting me know she was already here, and she was at my store. I guess Jenny and her had spent a little time together at the store and they had planned to go to Relics and then go out to eat. And I was like, well, wait a minute. Let me talk to my husband. I'm going to go with you guys. So I headed that way and we met up. Meet my new best friend, Kathy from Hello. the UK. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm excited to be here. We're excited to have you. I oh, put her to work yes. already. This is going to be awesome. I'm coming to the thing on Saturday. Can't wait. Great. Great. Oh. All the way from England. Oh, thank you. Look how sweet she is. All the way from England. <laughs> and she brings sometimes. I'm not oh. sweet all the time. <laughs> all right, I have to see. I have you to have see. have to see. <gasps> oh, you guys, look at Flea Market Rescue. It's beautiful. Look at it. Look at these made off. I made them. You made them? Yeah, I made them. She's talented, too, you I guys. She's talented. Let me zoom in here for you guys. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You need it. <laughs> oh my God. It's that not, not the truth. I don't know if I can get my head in here right now. Let me see. No, it's no, adjustable. I, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me. Shall I hold this? Will you hold that so I can? Yeah. Just. There we go. Thank you. So look at you guys. Does she not know what we need? Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. But Jenny. I think you're the one who really needs it, huh? I got one. <gasps> you brought Jenny one too? Yeah, but so you don't get confused. Yours says Kelly, hers says Jenny. Mo so Monogram to you guys, yeah. monogrammed. <laughs> I'm worried about all the painting that you keep doing that you need um, cover up. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen Did somebody. Did you see the back room? Did you someone, see the back room? I've seen someone drop paint on that nearly couch. I'm just not today. That, that not one today. right there. Uh, not, not today. Not today? <laughs> okay. Aww. Okay. So I know you have other things. Let me see what else oh. you have. Well. I probably look as big as you look this with my coat and fabulous. everything, right? <laughs> fabulous. Okay. Fabulous. This, this is some English chocolate to share with the shop on Saturday because you are our heroes. Aww. And you know we like our sweets. <laughs> we do. Yes, and definitely. And last thing, just a, a tin of some cookies from England. Oh. No, they're not just some cookies. They're, they're, they're very cookies. posh they're cookies. They're posh cookies Are from they? Marks and Spencers, and they're little houses. They're oh. shaped like, you can't open it because it's all stuck down. It is, oh, I don't have my glasses. I can't see without my glasses, What's you guys. Like? We know this. <laughs> Can't open it. <laughs> What's she like? There we go. We're open. I think she's getting to know me well. <laughs> oh, even the packaging. Oh, Jenny, I want. Wait till you I see what they look one. like. Each one, oh, a little. Really? Yeah. yeah. How do you know? Well, I might have bought some for Karma and Jenny. Oh. Too. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. You're very, you are very, so sweet. you're very welcome. You all. 
thank you for bringing so much happiness. We wait every Thursday for the video to come out. So, so, Did you get to see today's so video? I haven't yet because somebody couldn't find the remote control. You can find it. No, so we haven't watched. I it. gave it a lot. She did try. Of she really did try. <laughs> but I watch at home with my daughter Daisy and my friend Jane. So you have to say hello to them. Daisy and Jane. Hi Daisy. Hi Jane. So nice to <laughs> so nice to meet you. Even though I haven't met you yet, but hopefully yeah. one day I will. And Thomas and Edward too. Oh, Don't leave Thomas them out. My husband Thomas, my son Edward, and my son-in-law Andy. I can't miss him. Hello. Out. Oh. Sorry. Hi. Hi. All, hi, all of you guys. She's here, and we're so happy to have her. And we're going to yeah. go have some fun. Yes. Yep, let's we'll go to Relics. Fun. Let's, let's okay. go to Relics. Bye. And with that, we hopped in the car and headed to Port Huron. Kathy had saw in one of our videos that we had went to Relics. We found a lot of great stuff there. So that was one of the places she definitely wanted to go. Yep, we're pulling up at Relics here. First time Kathy, for both of us. Yep. Oh, you haven't been here. That's right, Never. Jenny. Never. <gasps> That's Here why we I go. called mom because I thought she's going to be mad. I went without her. Oh. Jenny was actually talking about her mom, Patty, who watches Flea Market Rescue every Thursday. Hey, Patty. Thanks for watching. So here we were. We were finally at Relics, and I was so excited to show Kathy around. Right away when we walked in, we noticed a lot of Ray Dawn pieces, like mugs and things like that. I even spotted this cute little bird. It was adorable. Oh, that is cute. How much is that, Jenny? 1060. These almost remind me of the ones that we made out of the cotton balls in that Trash Treasure episode. They were just too cute. Anyway, as cute as these were, I thought, you know what, we just got here, let's keep looking around. Anyway, as I looked around, I noticed they didn't have as much stuff as in previous times, but then again, they did just have a big sale, so that could be the reason why. Kathy still came across some great stuff, for me. And of course hook thing. Do you like it? I love it. But you know what? I probably would paint it black. I think it would look fantastic For black. five dollars. Perfect. You well, should have that. I'm gonna get it. Okay, you get it. <laughs> you sure you don't want it? No, I don't want it. You have it. Okay. I love that she knew what I keep my eye out for because like I was telling you guys in Dryden, horses are really big, so I try to pick them up when I can. That is if they're reasonably priced and this one was. Oh, I really like this. This is really pretty. I'm gonna get that. Definitely, I like that. I knew this would be great for my open house and it was only $10, so I knew I could still make money on it. These are really gorgeous. They are $8.99, so I don't know how much money I can make because they're not really huge, as you can see by my hand. It's, yeah. They're gorgeous though, absolutely gorgeous. Now if these had been a little bit bigger, I probably would have gotten them, but at this price and this size, I really am not gonna make a whole lot of money, so it's just not worth the investment. Price or not? That looks like $5. $5. Yep, and this is the person's the booth. Where's the $5? Where's it where? 500 NC because it's zero, zero. It's zero underline. $5. Under, yeah, $5. Here's the <laughs> Yeah. I might need this. You like the little, it's, it looks like it's antique actually. Yeah, I might need this. I think you might need I it. I might need this. I've already got two at home. Oh, I you do? I might need another one. Mine a bit, a bit bigger. I might need a small one. The little one? Yeah. yeah. You need Why not? And then you have the dog cooking his leg. That is so, it all. Jenny, between so, this <laughs> and that. <laughs> so here's what I'm sad about is I'm, this is like a salt pepper shaker. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's missing like the hydrant is the other one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could be right. You could be right. Let's see this here. This is really calling to me here. Mm. How much is that though, Jenny? That is on sale for $19.99. Yeah, so I can't make money on that. But it's gorgeous. I love it. With the arch, two baskets, clips. Right? Yeah. If I were to buy this for myself, that would be a great price. But again, since I am trying to resell things, this I could not make any money on. But that's okay because we were around in the corner and we were coming up to one of my favorite booths. I just knew I was going to find a ton of stuff there. However, to my surprise, that booth was gone. You guys, can I tell you, I was so bummed because I always found so much great stuff at that booth this gathering cutting board and this artichoke 
Heck, I even remember when I found this chicken for $5.99 in her booth. See what I mean? Her whole booth was like this. She had such great stuff. Oh well, what are you gonna do? These old kitchen tools sell really well in my store, so this one is only $5. I think I'm gonna get it. I think we can turn it around and sell it for $12. I made one of these for my friend because she's uh -huh. a knitter. Yeah. And I I didn't like mold it, but I made it at like a ceramics class. Right, right. You put your ball of yarn in there and then you put the string down here. And so that way when they're knitting, that is so it clever. keeps on rolling without it going all over. Yeah. Because she has a cat and the cat will start attacking. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. How much is that? Five forty nine. I'm going to get that. Doable. <gasps> How much is that? Ten. Oh my gosh. Thank you. For having that as well. You don't want any of this? No. Can't oh my get gosh. it home. Gorgeous. I've already filled my suitcase from what I bought in your shop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice, Thank you. You're welcome. Let me tell you what. Kathy definitely knew how to shop. She picked out all the stuff that I loved. I have no idea where she was finding this stuff, but I was glad she was. Like this bird bath. And this is only $8.99. Wow, it's cast iron, actually, you guys. Look at that. Love that. Isn't that pretty? That's if that wasn't so super heavy, cool. I would take that back with me. This nest is kind of cool. Oh, that's interesting. The branches. Ten dollars. But really, could we? I don't know. Do you oh, it's made it? around a basket. Oh, it's a basket. Yeah, I love but somebody did. really did it. It's a labor of love, man. Yeah. For 10 That's nice. Yeah. This bird was so cute, but he wasn't standing right. And I really think it was because of the foam on the bottom. I bought him, took the foam off. He stood perfectly. Now, last time I was here, I was eyeballing this dress for him. However, I didn't see a tag on it. So today I decided since it's still here, I'm gonna ask about it. The lady told me she would sell it to me for 15 and I told her, sold. You guys know how I love dress forms. That's really pretty. You know, during Mother's Day, I put a little like plant in there and I add one of my hang tags. Really nice. Mm -hmm. I was telling Jenny earlier about um, something I saw where they glued this onto the saucer. Okay and then they stuck it on a stake or a spindle, oh. put it in the garden and filled it with bird food so the birds could sit. Oh, I love that. Yeah, really lovely. I don't know, but I like this farmer. <laughs> he looks so cute. Oh, and he's a little pitcher. I couldn't pass him up. He was just too stinking adorable. And then when Kathy saw him in the basket, she was like, oh, I was looking at him. So on her way home, when she was leaving to go back to the UK, I gave him to her. Oh, this is kind of cute, right guys? It's only $8. We might have to get this. When I originally read this, I thought it said, you are on your greatest adventure. And immediately I thought of Kathy because how many times do you get to go to another country and go shopping? I mean, that would be like your greatest adventure. However, it does say you are our greatest adventure, which you know what is equally true because how many times do you have someone from the UK come to visit your store and go shopping? And for that reason, I am definitely going to get this sign. So I had to relocate it. <laughs> oh, Jenny, you're not Let me tired, are you? Little story, old chap. Let me <laughs> Well, it was getting late, as you can see, and Relics was already closed, but the owner was gracious enough to let us still look around, and he even let us into the back room that he was working on because he had gotten in all these little bears, and he was building a display for them. I guess they're called cherished teddies. Now, I don't collect anything like this, but maybe you guys do out there. He's offered 10% off any of them that you do want to get, so if you do collect them, just know he has just about every one of them. I guess it came from a private collection. Oh. No price. No price. Two? How much? A dollar. A dollar. Wow, that table is stunning. 
So oh, you this a... reminds me of a table that I had when I was a kid. Yeah. And one winter we got snowed in. Okay. My dad was snowed out and he went to work and mom didn't have any wood for the fire. Don't even tell me. Her and my brother chopped it up with axes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yikes. Because you do what you got to do when you're a mama bear. <laughs> wow. Isn't that your funny? Mom. Can you so, picture my mom chopping So how it much up? is this set? 75 Look at that, you guys. $75. Steel. Yeah. All the casters look really good still. Oh, and it has the leaves. The leaves are still here. I wow. mean. Yeah, you guys. So this table and chairs is a still. It's $75. Well, you guys, it was getting late and it was time to go. So we decided that we were going to go to eat. Kathy hadn't ate all day, so we were trying to figure out a place to go. And I thought, you know what? What about the Cracker Barrel? Can I tell you guys, she was so excited because she had only seen the Cracker Barrel on our videos. So she's like, oh my gosh, the Cracker Barrel. Will you be having the meatloaf? Heck yeah, I'm going to have the meatloaf. So we piled in the car and we were off to the Cracker Barrel. So we're at the Cracker Barrel and Kathy is like, oh my gosh, we're going to go to the Cracker Barrel too? Yes, yes we I are. Think this is the first time in Cracker Barrel. And you want to know what's funny, you guys? When she walked in, she was like, oh my gosh, there's a store in here as well. I loved it. So of course, I am having my meatloaf here. And Kathy, what did you get? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. Broccoli. And mashed potatoes. It looks delicious. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. This is maple oh, bacon is grilled good. chicken with mashed potatoes and fried okra. Oh. My favorite. Yum. Yum. <gasps> Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so what a fun-filled, beautiful day I had. And to end it with a Cracker Barrel was just perfect. It was like the icing on the cake. Now the following day had turned out to be an absolute blizzard and I was like, oh my gosh, my open house is tomorrow. It was 12 o'clock at night and it was still coming down. But then again, this is Michigan, so it can be like a blizzard one day and then sunny the next. You just never know. I even had people calling on the phone asking, are you going to reschedule your event? No, I had people coming from all over. There was no way I could do that. Earlier that day, we ran out and rented three patio heaters just to ensure that everyone would be warm the following day. We had done so much planning for this event, and Debbie came by earlier in the week and decorated the whole entire store. I have Deb here, and she is just kind of decorating for our spring event. Deb, you do such a good... so much. We really do. So much. Now with the latest shopping trip, we had even more. The shop had looked absolutely beautiful, and my mom had worked so hard on putting together a lot of spring creations to spread color throughout the store. We had bunnies, we had ducks, we had flowers. We just had a great mixture of things to offer. Heck, there was still things I hadn't even put out. And before we knew it, the day was finally here. And just like I told you about Michigan weather, the sun came out, the heaters dried up all the snow, and it kept the customers warm. It looked as if it was going to be a great day after all. All right, you guys. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you for being patient. Thank you, everyone. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. Nice How to see you. you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Doing good. So nice to see all of you. They came from all over. Some live far, some live close, but they were all here to support me. These ladies even dressed up like me. They had the black shirt and the pearls, and it was hilarious. And let's not forget Kathy, who came all the way from the UK. She was just so lovely, and by the time she left, I felt like we were good friends. Even Kendra from Kendra's Corner, she came to support me. Like I said, they came from all over, and I couldn't have been more thankful. Oh, and even Delane came. Jenny! Delane's here! I'm here, Jenny! 
We want to thank everyone who came to the spring open house. It really meant a lot to us and we thank you so much for your support. We hope that you found a lot of great stuff to decorate with and that you had a great time. And look, you guys, this lovely lady has the same coat as Kathy. It was so cute. I had to get a picture of it. I also love to see that she bought those ducks because they were one of my favorites. I want to thank her as well for coming to my open house. It was such a fun time, and you all were so wonderful. And you'll be glad to know that Jenny didn't charge anyone a million dollars this time, especially not Delane. Thanks again, you guys. And now for the winners of the raffles. We are ready to announce the winners. The first raffle will be for the bunny here. Jen, if you would like to pick the lucky winner for the, the bunny. I hope it's you. <laughs> it's J Toll. Is it Toll? T O L? J Toll, yeah, like, um, like coal but with a T. Yep, you are the lucky winner oh, of this beautiful bunny. I'm I jealous. Know. I love her. I know. I had a hard time giving that up, you guys. I just want you to know that. All right. So the next one is going to be for a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to Flea Market Rescue. You can pick out twenty-five dollars worth of merchandise. Vicky Page. Yep. Vicky Pay. When you won't get our pay. age, you have to check it twice. Yes. <laughs> you are the lucky winner of the $25 gift certificate, so you can come in and get that, or you can just come here and pick out $25 worth of merchandise. Now, for the big raffle here. That's the one that. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now, for the big raffle here. This is for a thrifting trip with Debbie and I. All right. You guys asked for it. So. Whoever. I can't wait. I know it's gonna be fun. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a blast. I think so. All right, Ann Bell. All right, Ann Bell, you are the I'm lucky winner. This. Yep, you're going shopping in Debbie's van. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will be calling you guys, and thank you for participating, everyone. Thank you for coming to the spring open house. It was awesome, and we hope to see you again. Can't wait, guys. Now, if you were unable to attend the spring open house, no worries, we got you. We have online shopping on April 11th, which is gonna feature a lot of great spring items. So stay tuned for that. That'll be on Thursday, April 11th at five o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our website. Also, I wanna give you some dates of the other Flea Market Rescue upcoming events that we're gonna have. On May 18th, we're going to have a blooming event, which is like the summer event. We're going to have lavender and rosemary, and we're going to have a lot of great summer things for you. We're also partnering up with Two Hens and a Chick and a couple other stores in the area that you'll be able to visit. Also on July 20th, we're going to have Christmas in July. So if you want to get ahead of the game, we're going to have a lot of great Christmas items you can purchase, along with other great home decor items that we sell. Then our fall spectacular event will be on September 28th. You're not going to want to miss that. We always have a lot of great fall items. And lastly, we have the winter Christmas event on November 9th. So make sure to mark those dates in your calendar and we really hope to see you. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.